Hey everyone, this is the tutorial using cream foundations as you can see by the title. Excuse the um, focus, I just got a new webcam and the auto focus goes in and out. I'm working on it and I have to figure out my placement. But enough with the technicalities of filming. Um, let's go over this look or this tutorial. I'm using some primer, I think that's the Revlon primer the one that's in the jar is it is either Revlon or yeah Revlon or Maybelline I it's in it's in the kit in the car and I'm not finna go get it so <laughs> I'm sorry about that but I'm just placing that all over my face I'm concentrating in the areas that my foundation tends to fade on so I'm just putting that down I already have my brows done that's the first thing I ever do when I'm doing my makeup is my brows because it's just easier for me that way. The foundation I will be using in this video is the Black Radiance um, Pan Sticks or the Stick Foundation. Um, I'm, right now I'm placing the one that is the closest match to my skin tone. Followed by that I'm going in with a lighter shade so I can highlight. I absolutely love these foundations. I love cream foundation. It's so easy to work with. I don't typically wear it every day because for me it is a little bit high maintenance, but that's just because of how my skin, you know, how it wears on my skin. Uh, but I really love cream foundations. Followed by that highlighted shade or that lighter shade, I'm going in with a deeper color um, to contour. And as you can see, I have discoloration on my face. So uh, I have it's darker in the hollows of my cheeks and all of that. So I really just get a shade that matches that. And it works for me. I'm going in and I'm contouring the places that need to be contoured. Like the hollows of my cheek, my nose, part of my forehead, and my double chin. I slowed it down so you can see what it looks like before I buff it out. That's just how I place my colors. I'm going in with the Sonia Kashuk uh, Flat Synthetic Kabuki Brush Foundation Brush. I don't know. It's Go to Target. Look at it. It's the, the Flat Foundation Brush. And I'm just uh, buffing that in. Going in circular motions and sweeping motions. Just basically blending it out. Take your time doing this because you don't want um, it to streak. You don't want it streaked or um, just funky looking. So make sure you take your time blending out your foundation. If there's going to be anything that you're going to spend time on, make sure it's on your blending. And just work it, girl. Do -do 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 -do. Do, 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 do. And I'm going over my eyelids just so because on this day I wasn't going to put on any um eyeshadow, so I just put it on so my lids wouldn't be so just discolored. <laughs> just putting that in, go right on it, do it. You can do it, put your back into it. That freaking autofocus, I love it, but I hate it at the same time. Okay, followed by that, yeah, next step, I'm using my Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark by MAC, and I'm just setting my foundation with that. I love that Mineralized Skin Finish. I think, yeah, that's that's what I use to set my foundation all the time. I like, I like the sheen that it gives on your skin. It makes it look real, very, very real. Um... On top of cream foundation, liquid foundation, whatever. Alone. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Um, so try, you know, check that out if you're really into, you know, the powder foundations or powders. Followed by that, I am using another found uh powder. I think that was by Ruby Kisses. Um, I'm just setting the highlighted part of my face. Yep. And that brush that I'm using, I'm using the Eco Tools foundation brush. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm using. Yeah, going to work. 
and then I'm using a creamed blush by MAC I think that is Virgin Al that was limited edition but it's a coral color I love using the cream blush when I have cream foundation it just it melts and it oh it's so beautiful I can't even explain it just try it if you don't try it, if you don't normally do that try it get some cream blushes they're the way to go and just kind of I'm using the, my foundation brush to actually put that on so I can really tone down that color and make it you know more believable um, now going in with my contour color that is blunt by Mac um, this is a color that I recommend to anybody who asks me what is a good go well, good color for a brown skin girl that in the pan it's it looks like but it builds to a beautiful deep brown just you know the only thing that I can say just make sure you are using a brush that is either very stiff or small so you can control the color distribution so you won't look muddy um yeah what am I doing next oh followed by that I'm getting some concealer and just uh, defining the bridge of my nose so it doesn't look as flat because I have contoured and highlighted a lot on my face and I want my nose to be you know in balance next I'm going in with one of my favorite highlights and that is um, gold deposit by Mac it's another mineralized skin finish it is beautiful if you are any girl brown yellow red whatever that is gonna be beautiful uh, it's just like oh it puts a glow on you like yeah You've been to Saint-Tropez. 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 I know how to spill it. I don't know how to say it. That's awful. Now I'm going in with a blush by e.l.f. And that one is called... I can't read it. The label's so small. I don't know, but it's a bubblegum pink one. It's one of the black... It comes in the black packaging, obviously. Um, yeah. After that... You know, that's pretty much the look I was going for. I think I put on some lashes. Yeah, I put on some lashes and some eyeliner. And that was my look for the day. It was simple, five-minute, boom, we're out of there. Thanks, guys.